Hello and welcome back to a tech review video on a channel that's not supposed to be for tech reviews, but nevertheless, we're doing it anyway. So today's review is going to be on the remarkable two writing paper tablet thing that I've been toying around with for half of a semester. Now I'm a semester break, so I can spend some time to critique this thing, to prosecute this thing, to defend this thing, everything you could imagine packed into one video. And also just a note on my disappearance. Uh, I haven't been here for two weeks and that's for a very obvious reason. Timeline is moving forward. I'm actually very, very close to completing my bachelor's degree. So I'm going to run this last mile. I'm going to hit a home run and let's hope for the best. But today I simply want to offer you guys a walkthrough of this device, which I've been toying around with for half of a semester. And there are some pros and there are some cons. It's not all good. And since this video is not sponsored by Remarkable, I can say whatever I want. It's helpful for us to, first of all, get a general sense of why. Why exactly did I buy this device? For what? Winding back the clock to semester one, 2022. So, uh, I was going to write a paper for this um, post-structuralist reading of one of Edgar Allan Poe's stories. And one paper that I had to read for that specific paper was The Purveyor of Truth by Jacques Derrida. And if you know anything about Jacques Derrida, um, he's a philosopher who struggled to shut up. Hence, I ended myself up in a situation where I basically had to read 90 pages of a war vomit. As someone who has a mental condition called technophobia. I really did not like to read PDF files on my computer because one, I cannot highlight it. And two, you know, it strains my eyes way too much given that, you know, my eyes are already terrible. And three, I just kind of enjoy the feel of paper. I just kind of enjoy having the paper in my hands. But after a few rounds of printing out 90 pages of reading material, after a few rounds of carrying everything in this poor little satchel right here, and yet we all know what happened to my old satchel, I decided that this compulsive need to print out my research papers in order to read them and to annotate them. This is simply a losing game. So I've decided to purchase this little device, which um, I'm going to get into in a second. So first question, what is the Remarkable 2 tablet? Think of it as a Kindle, but it's a Kindle with a pen and you can write on this thing with, with a pen. So that's basically what a Remarkable 2 is. To me, this thing is almost an archive that archives all of my university readings and digitizes all of my readings and PDF files so I don't have to print them out anymore. And given that I have a pen to annotate these papers with, it kind of feels like cheating. I no longer have to print out so many pages of readings, but at the same time, I'm kind of getting the same experience as printing these papers out. Besides paper reading, now we're gonna talk about the capability of handwritten notes. So I'm the kind of person who loves handwritten notes, but you know, sometimes I just have to switch to computer because the organizational system is so much better on my laptop. Whereas if you're taking notes on physical notebooks, you know, carrying these notebooks is a pain in the butt in itself. And also organizing these notes, well, don't even think about it. And this is something that I really appreciate about the Remarkable 2, which is um, you can actually take notes like how you would um, on a piece of paper. And it kind of feels like paper, but this is a point I'll get back to in a second. And even better, you can organize these notes in separate folders. It has a very neat internal organizational system. And of course, combined with the PDF reading capabilities of this device, I can simply switch from my notes to a PDF file and then vice versa. So instead of carrying around four different notebooks for four different subjects, this is what I'm carrying around within my bag all the time. So it really reduces how much I have to carry on a daily basis. So it's a lot easier on my shoulder. So after a brief explanation of some of the things that I do like about this thing and how it's excellent for a literature student, here are some points that I'm just kind of like, yeah, maybe this is not the best device for lit students or for any student. First, elephant in the room. Does the Remarkable 2 feel like paper when you're writing on it? Well, to be honest, in my personal experience, even though I like to write out all of my notes on this tablet, it doesn't feel like paper at all. There's definitely this kind of like noticeable delay when you're writing on this tablet. And I've tried my friend's iPad Pro a few times and I think the writing experience is pretty similar. So if you're looking for some revolutionary paper-like experience, well, this is, um, it's a marketing gimmick. Well, let's face it, it's really a marketing gimmick. Plus the limited capabilities of this thing, unlike an iPad, I find it really hard to justify the purchase sometimes. But given that I did not have an iPad, I figured that I would give this thing a go and given the limited capabilities and given my limited needs, it's not really that big of a deal. But if you're the kind of person that also wants to do other things with your tablet, like watching YouTube videos or doing other things, well, this device is definitely not for you. The device is definitely geared towards a very specific audience, like writers, like academics, like maybe even lawyers when they need to sign contracts. In other cases, if you're an artist, 
there are no colors on this thing. It's just black and white. So you're really restricting your art here. And on another hand, which is another complaint that I have about this device, is that it is actually pretty damn expensive compared to an iPad. And if you're on a university budget, I personally would not really recommend this device. If you have some extra cash to spend, by all means, just for what you're getting, you're getting a remarkable tablet and the pen costs extra. And surprise, surprise, the case costs extra too. So if you put together a package like this, it is significantly more expensive than an entry-level iPad. Plus you're restricted to a black and white screen. So the choice is really yours. There's an argument out there that a screen like this reduces distractions. Well, here's a counter case for that case. I was having a conversation with my friend Vi at the, at the tram stop and we talked about this device and I told her, you know, hey, I'm making a video about this device. And she basically said to me that Basically, buying this device is you not willing to develop discipline. Although this device is strictly geared towards work, well, if you have an iPad and if you develop the kind of self-discipline to circumvent those traps that you're gonna fall into when you're working on an iPad, you're gonna get a lot more bang from your butts. Whereas if you resort to this device, well, it's kind of like you buying something to help you do the discipline for you instead of developing that discipline yourself. So those are just some of my personal opinions on the device. I do enjoy it a lot. I do love the organization that comes with this device. I do enjoy um, the sort of PDF marking system. I do enjoy it that I can organize it really well. I can sync it across uh, multiple devices. But on a more balanced front, um, the paper writing experience, which is one of the most poignant selling points, it doesn't really work for me. And I stand by my original judgment. This is simply a Kindle with a pen. And if you wanna buy this for the novelty value, yes, of course you can. But in my personal opinion, you're gonna get a lot more value out of an iPad um, of, a, of a similar price range. Nevertheless, that's all I have for this review. The Remarkable 2 is great for certain professions, for certain people. For example, me as a lit student, it works wonders. But if you step outside of those limited capabilities, outside of those limited needs of a certain profession, well, you're much better off getting something like an iPad. R.C. Wanda here, hope you guys have enjoyed that little review, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.